Right, let's stop this stupid brake squealing. My God! Way I did it! The plan for today is to ride along the coast towards Start Point with the lighthouses and stop off at the very famous X village of Hull Sands. It's a strange place, B Sands. It's actually quite popular and there's cheap houses and expensive houses here. It still has a sort of a remote truck stop feel about it. It's hard to explain. I bet you'll be exciting on holiday if a storm blew up here. Oh my God. Cheeky ride on the coastal path down to Hull Sands. No one's looking. Getting some really good height here. The views are amazing. I haven't seen a single person. And no kissing gates. Oh, this is delightful. Bullet fat bike. You think I've got food? I've got nothing to offer you. And this is the modern Hull Sands. The bit that fell into the sea was around the corner. Again, it's a little bit of a strange place. Pretty popular in the summer, but in the winter, I could imagine it's like the Wicker Man around here. I love the way it just disappears into the sand, just there. Yeah, would you live there? It won't be long, will it? It won't be long. That's what's left. The path to the derelict part of Hull Sands is just not doable on a bike. I can't be I've bothered. I've got to do a loop to get around to the other side. I'm not climbing all over those steps. There must be about a thousand of them. These little cottages are just so cute. And they're not near anything. They're in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to risk going down here, see if I can get along the end of the footpath. Probably not. It's a nice pad, isn't it? In the middle of nowhere. There we go, public footpath. I think I might be lucky here. Actually stayed there some time ago. It's called Toad Hall. You know what? It's just going to be one thing after another, isn't it? <laughs> I think the universe is telling me to fix this bike. I've lost the drive now from the chain. Three wheels gone. Oh crap. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they made a lovely little viewing platform, but I'm not going to stand on that because it looks like it's hanging over the edge now. That's what's left of it. All sands. All very faded. Just like the village itself. The demise of Hull Sands. This footage was taken in 2014 and you can see where there still was a road to drive your car into it. There was a canoe hanging out of that hole when we came last time. It all went wrong back in 1890 when the Admiralty decided to expand the naval dockyard at Cayham. We were given permission to dredge shingle from between the Hull Sands and Bee Sands. Just protested it would you know, interrupt their fishing. Paid £125 a year in compensation. Two storms reduced the height of the beach by 12 feet. 26th of January 1970, a storm came in and the whole village fell into the sea. Another cheeky ride along the coastal path to Start Point, and this time I haven't got pedal power. I'm going up here, throttle only, can you believe it? It's struggling though, because it's very steep. This is nice, this bit, isn't it? Oh, I've got drive! The driver's kicked back in! You know what? That's beautiful. Absolutely. Goddamn beautiful. I'm right on the bloody edge here. I've got very, very intermittent drive and a half-dead battery and a miles from the van. I 
I think we can say with confidence this is the only mullet electric fat bike that's gone up here. Oh, for duck's sake. Here we go. I've made the car park. Sweet baby Jesus. Yeah, to be met with a kissing gate. Oh my God. Start Point Lighthouse. Yep, it's a beautiful part of the country this, isn't it? I've worked out what I've got to do. I've got to get the free world spinning fast in a high gear. I'll take a right here. Well, I made it against the odds. Very happy. Battery did me solid. Wheel, not so much. My complete botch brake repair didn't falter for a minute. Brakes are better than ever. Thanks for watching. I made it home in one piece. See you again next week.